Hey guys, welcome back to some more Hot Wheels Unleashed. Uh, today is the day that the Batman expansion dropped. Um, I'm going to go to this Discover the expansion. And just kind of look at this. Man, this looks absolutely awesome. Yeah, if they keep up stuff like this, I'm definitely going to keep playing, keep putting out more of this because, wow. Hopefully it's as fun as it looked. Um, hopefully I don't get hit for... <laughs> <laughs> the music oh yeah I have to hit the shift tab there we go so um I have been kind of like just playing uh, so, ooh okay I really like the Robin car that's that's pretty cool so the Joker GT alright got the penguin Oh, nice. And then... There's like two more, isn't there? Oh, is this it? Batman Rebirth. Okay. Yeah, I've actually seen, uh, during my races, this car in, uh, like... Just like quick mode. Uh, armored Batman. Nice. Got anything else? Oh, <laughs> What is that? My kid must have did that. All right, so honestly, I think that's everything. Uh, now I I have been unlocking these slowly but surely. Uh, you have to do daily missions to kind of do this. I'm in the racing season here. I'm at twenty two. So I don't get this one until 24 and then where's the other two? This one's at 36 and I think there's one more, right? Yep. And then this one at 50 and that's going to be the end. So um, there's probably the new. Yep. Look at that. The new Batman cave. Okay. Let's check it out. I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to quick make a track. I've said it a couple times that I was going to make a track on here and I just haven't really gotten around to doing it, but I think right now is a good time. Where, at, where am I? Okay. Hey, where do I want to start this? I'll start it like right here, you know? I gotta remember how to do this. Okay, how do I go down again? Ah, right, okay. There we go. Ah, it's at an angle, that's fine. Let's see if there's anything special. Doesn't look like it. I don't really know the difference between those two. Go with a circuit. You know what? Let's let's go with a course. I don't really know why it matters which one. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a tour. The uh, the back cave here. With this. Okay. There we go. That's the one I like. This, this, yeah, so this will probably be labeled as, uh, 
building in the back cave. Something along the lines that. Definitely not the I like the way it's curving at the end there. I'm trying to uh. let's see. Nope. Okay, let's start this over. Let's, we'll still go down the stairs, I think. I think I'm gonna start the special track. Oop. Keep on doing that. Bear with me, I haven't built a track in a while. Sure, yeah, there we go. That's the way I wanna do it. Oh yeah, I can extend it. Yeah, there we go. It's actually really nice. Get a real nice corner around here. Go like down. Curve. Uh one thing when building, uh just give, you know, give people time. Uh, kind of react to stuff because like this is already if, if they were to boost they would fly right off of that but since it's right after a curve as long as they don't boost you know I'll probably put like some warning signs or something uh, they'll be able to it's all about like the gentle curves We get it cl as close as we can. Now, we need to get this. Uh, we can we can go down. So, what will happen here is I, I get it as level as I can. I'm gonna turn this. Try to extend it a little bit. Maybe not. Here we go. And then I'm gonna just give a, a just a gentle downward. You know, not not this harsh wrap. We're just gonna essentially drag this through the bat cave and uh kind of explore what it has to offer. And I think right now would be a good time to uh do something crazy. Like, can we get this to, like, go through? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Okay. We gotta keep it straight. Now, I'm keeping this, uh, magnetic because, uh, because of the ups and downs. Um, you, you as long as you're not, like, going super steep, I mean, you can, uh, do it differently. But just for the sake of, like, I want a good run right off the bat, I want to kind of make sure that, uh, you know, we can do stuff like this, you know. And the way we do that, ooh, yeah, let's take it past the car. Ooh, you know what? I always forget to hold the button. No, can I? I want to try something. Give this kind of a curve. A little bit here. Then we're going to drop it down. 
lift it. Bit. I'm going to try to go underneath the. Shorten it a little bit. Is it really at like a up angle like that? Oof. Okay, we messed that previous part up. Okay, let's uh this is how you wanna like fix this problem, right? You're gonna switch to the opposite one and then kinda like balance it out. Ooh, I don't know if it's gonna Ooh, I got it. Yeah, usually I test the track like 10 times by now. Uh, not going to lie because uh, otherwise you have to kind of like redo a whole bunch of stuff. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and test the track. Um, I'm going to see if we can go ahead and change to one of the Batman vehicles that way because this is going to be Batman themed video. We're going to solely focus on just the new Batman stuff. Um, and then I'm going to have some other stuff come out because I do have some new stuff like uh, the TMNT party wagon. I got this like, I think I already showed this. I got this one though. I know I just got that one. But we have other stuff too. I wanted to try this one out. It looks so nice. We're gonna go ahead and do this one though. All right. All we do now is we're just gonna test out the track. Make sure it gives us a good showcase of like, yeah, you see how like nice that drop is? Like, it's just nice and subtle. And there's too many people that like build tracks and like it's too sharp. See, cause even if I like, yeah, even if I boost it on here. Oh, nice. This is so good. Yeah, again, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, I just looked yesterday and I saw that only 71% of you are, uh, no, not only, <laughs> Tw only 24% of you are subscribed. So if you're watching this and you're one of those people that are not subscribed and you want to keep up with these, just go ahead and hit that, you know. Ooh, okay. So this is going to be our first problem here. So we're going to want to go back to the track builder. We're actually going to bring this all the way back to this. Okay. Cause that's, that's, this is where this happened. Now the way I can fix this is probably something like this. I'm going to shrink it up. Okay. Then we're going to kind of like do something like this. Kind of adjust it accordingly because this is magnetic. It's a it's a loop. It's gonna reset our uh, starting point essentially, uh, and give us much gentler uh, way up. Uh oh, my. Not sure what I'm clipping into here. That's hmm. all right. One, I wanted to go straight through here, but maybe this will be the right thing. Curve. The best thing to like remember when doing this is like don't worry too much about like 
your curves and you know stuff like that go up just a little bit the only thing i don't like so if you use the left bumper to lift this up right so what this will do is it causes this curve right and when you're doing that it causes these weird bumps when you're doing stuff um so what you do and just to reset that i just i went back is you use the right bumper to lift up and down that's how you get these like more gentle like controls i don't really understand what the difference is but it's really just about kind of finding the balance with it not touching the ground being red like this being green and then you can continue on from there but the only the only issue with like using this is like you see how it's going to cause it to go into the ground. So I'm going to use I'm going to use this to go down. It's all bad. I use this to go down, right? This is going to cause that to have a curve there, but it's going to just kind of straighten out like that edge there. And then I'm going to use the other one to straighten it out and try to get it where it's going just straight. So I want to take this under the car. There we go. That's the only thing you got to pay attention to is like making sure that when you're clicking it your your track is in the direction you want to go right now we went from the bottom there up here under the vehicle I think going over here i'm going to go up over the railing Try that again. Try to flatten it out a little bit so that anybody that's driving this can see everything. Now, if you guys like the build video, um, just let me know. You know, hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment. You know, leave a fire emoji. I don't care. Just do something, you know, just let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Is it too slow? Is it too fast? You know, um, I, I know I've built quite a few tracks so far and like, so if I'm not explaining stuff enough, uh, I could go into more detail, but right now I'm just kind of trying to showcase the the new build area. It doesn't need to be like, that's one thing, you know, I see all these tracks that are like super crazy. Like they really don't need to be that crazy. Um, believe it or not, you know, focusing, ooh, that's a, bad area so we can only really uh build out there we go i just wanted to see like how far i had okay is there anything we missed any areas we missed I don't think so. 
mean, maybe just go over here. Do this like cool drop. All right, and then we'll do like a finish line. Okay, track validation available, and that's where we can actually test the track. And then, you know, that actually didn't take that long, 22 minutes. I mean, that's probably one of the fastest track builds I've ever done, honestly. Now, I'm not actually going to... I think I did hit validate track, but that's not what I wanted to do with test track. Hold on, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I did go to test track. Never mind. Never mind. So this like beginning part is always slow when you're testing a track because like you don't have like the boosting going on, you know? So it is kind of like test this car out a little bit you know but yeah you don't have like the boost right at the beginning where you're like trying to nail the like perfect timing and uh yeah i just i try not to build like too crazy a tracks but for this one you know i it had to be big because i wanted to be able to see the whole like thing from the perspective of the car you know because obviously if you're seeing this it's it's a lot it's a lot bigger compared to the other screen and uh you'll see how the like j uh kind of gentle adjustments you know how i'm not flying off of the track you know here's this like little curve that i did before but as long as i kept the rest of it straight you know it's not really noticeable. Sometimes you gotta do like little curves like that. It happens. Oh, I love this, yeah, where you can see everything. So yeah, and because this is kind of a long track, uh, that's something you wanna think about when you're like driving your track, is like, did I, do I have enough boosters on the track? Is there, where's a good spot to like put a boost area? Like right here, you know, this, this is a great boost area, you know? And then we got a curve. So you'd want to let people know that it's coming. Now I'm probably not going to go through and do like crazy stuff, like putting all the like, uh, special items on the track because it's already been about 25 minutes and uh, this was just to showcase the track or not the track the, uh, the new area yeah you see how that happened now obviously like it'll be fine as long as people know it's coming but People are going to fly off their first time, for sure. Now, I'm not going to save this track, but I don't know. Maybe I will. No, because then I got to put all the extra stuff on there. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of crappy. So, oh, that's not what I want. I want to exit. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. Do you want to save the track? No. <laughs> I'm getting confused here. Okay, so now what we're going to do, actually, go into quick races and uh, use some of these other cars. I don't know. It's already been 20, 26 minutes. Maybe I'll do a separate video for these. I don't know. You know what? Yeah, that's where I'm going to end it here. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to see more of the videos coming out this week. Uh, I'm going to do a showcase of a couple of these cars. Um, and then I'm also going to have stuff like this. Um, 
that kind of came as like like patches, I guess. You know, I'm going to just do separate videos for each patch and then yeah, that'll be it. All right. Thanks for watching.